there was a, uh, I, I was dealing with, this is a few months back, I was dealing with a question of, <laughs> stupid topic, but the meaning of life. <laughs> right? It's trite. You're not supposed to think about it. It's something you ask your parents when you're young. Yes. They tell you, don't worry about it. Go get a job, <laughs> you freaking hippie. Or here's God. God is the meaning of life, right? Yeah. And so I was just trying to resolve for myself, like, what could the answer be? Right? Not what is the answer, but what could the answer be? And so at a core level, I was forced to kind of hunt down all these weird little things and really understand for myself. And it's got to be personal, right? But I have to establish for myself what it could and could not be. And that gave me some level of peace. So now I don't have to keep asking that question. I think the question is more interesting than the answer. Everyone should explore mm. this on their own. But let me just explore a few parts with you. So first is, if I gave you an answer, if I said the meaning of life is to please God, well, which God? Okay, Judeo-Christian God. Well, okay, why that one? Why this thing? The problem is it's a why question. You can keep asking why forever. Any right. answer I give you, you'll just ask why again. And you end up in a place called Agrippa's Trilemma. And Agrippa's Trilemma says that any questioning like this, why, will always end in one of three places, okay? First is infinite regress, right? Why? Because of this. Why that? Why that? And just keep going forever. Mm -hmm. The second is circular reasoning. Well, A. Why A? Because of B. Well, why B? Because of A. Or the third is an axiom. And the most popular axiom is God. But it could be anything because of math, because of science, because of the Big Bang, because of simulation, right? These are all axioms. These are all just stopping points. So you end up in one of these three dead ends, essentially, right? So there is no answer. The real answer is because. <laughs> <laughs> you get to make up your own answer is the beauty. If there was a single answer, we would not be free. We would be trapped because then we would all have to live to that answer. Then we'd be Borg-like robots, each one competing with each other to fulfill that single meaning more than the others. Back to signaling, like I'm better at it than you are. Mm. But luckily there is no answer. So you just do whatever you want. The answers to all the great questions are paradoxes. So for example, you're asking like, do I matter? Well, how do I matter in this infinite universe? Well, so the answer to that question of do I matter is I am nothing and I am everything. And you'll find this with all the great questions. The answers are all paradoxes, which is why at some level it's sort of pointless to pursue them, to find a trite answer like I'm giving. But the act of pursuing them is actually really useful because then it gives you certain intrinsic understanding in your life that brings a level of peace.